Hello there. Today I wanted to share with you what I think is uh, an absolutely great value, value for money wine. This is Kimi Rivers Estate Chardonnay. This is the 2022 vintage of this. Kimi River, a winery with a fantastic reputation for making some of the best Chardonnays um, to come out of New Zealand. And in some cases, people have argued some of the world's best Chardonnays, certainly a world class wine. Some of their reputation is, is built on the three single vineyard wines that they make, the Matty's Vineyard, the Hunting Hill and the Coddington. But actually, they put just as much care and attention into making their estate wine as they do the single vineyard wines. And it's not impossible that small amounts of the single vineyard wines make their way into the estate wine. But the majority of the fruit that goes into this comes from a vineyard um, on Waitakere Road in the back of Kumu that was originally planted by the Corbin family. And it's a vineyard that's very well set up to drain and, and in the quite heavy clay soils that you get in Kumu and in that part of West Auckland in, in general, uh, drainage is hugely important. So a, a well set up site. As I say, this is a wine that's made very much in the same way as the single vineyard wines are. It's hand picked. The fruit is whole bunch pressed. The juice is fermented with a fair amount of turbidity. It's quite cloudy when they ferment it. It ferments in barrel. The barrels will have a proportion of new oak. There's slightly less new oak for the estate wine than is the case for the single vineyard wines. But nonetheless, it's fermenting in 228 litre barrels made with quality French oak and, as I say, fermenting with the indigenous yeast, so the yeasts that are either in the vineyard or have come into the winery from other vineyards. Fermentation will be relatively warm in that case, you know, being in a barrel without temperature control, although there will be some cooling going on in the barrel hall probably, and with the relatively turbid juice should give a certain amount of richness. The wine will undergo complete malolactic conversion giving some richness, softening the acidity a little, and then ages with the fine lees, so it'd be racked off the heavy lees, but the fine fermentation lees, the dregs of the yeast after fermentation, for about 11 months, and then it's blended and bottled prior to the, the, the following harvest. So let's have a look at the wine, shall we, and see what we make of it. So firstly, it's a fairly bright, pale, lemony yellow colour there. As I swirl it, I mean, it sort of clings to the glass, but it's not, it's not readily forming tears um, on the side of the glass. It's a 13% alcohol wine, so yeah, that shouldn't be too high. Let's have a look at the aromas and see what we make of those, shall we? Again, a difference from the other Kumu River wines that I've, I've, I've been tasting. There's more of a toasty touch from a tiny bit of oak showing through. There's a definite creaminess and then sitting behind that you've got notes of stone fruit, um, peach, not um, overly ripe peach but um, certainly a peachy note and there's a lemony lift to the fruit as well so uh, very similar elements to the, the other wines from Kimi River, but in a slightly different balance. Perhaps on this occasion, the toastiness of the oak showing through a little more. So that's for taste. On the palate, that's a mid-weight wine. It's not quite got the rounded, rich creaminess that the, the single vineyard wines had. But that's allowing the freshness to really show through. There's a piercing mineral acidity running right the way through this. And so I think actually another thing to say is that that will mean that this wine will age. So um, I don't know what they suggest. I mean, they suggest four to six years aging there. I think that would very happily um, age for five years without without any trouble at all and possibly longer just the preciseness of the acidity and it's really it's cutting through keeping the finish long and lemony and lean and there are mineral notes there there are 
it's, it's all very well integrated. There are sort of notes of sort of creaminess and uh, butterscotch on the mid mid palate. Delicate butterscotch, not uh, overblown and huge. And these um, lemony flavours, etc., are enduring and they're continuing to develop because there is such good freshness to the acidity. And that's often the key to a really good wine. Um, so yes, I, I think a wine with complexity, with fabulous balance, um, that will last beautifully. It's a really high quality wine. I think this sort of sits in a lineup with the company's single vineyard wines very well. It's, it's certainly uh, delivering value for money. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this interesting. I hope you'll get the chance to try some Kimi River wine. I would certainly suggest searching them out. If you've enjoyed the video, please do leave us your comments, to please like and share. Um, it would be great if you felt you wanted to subscribe to our YouTube channel. But most importantly, I do hope you'll manage to find the time to join us for another tasting really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye now.